Right, so I'm no expert on COVID-19. We're going to do something a bit different today, looking at this study that looked at co uh, complications following surgery uh, after having a COVID-19 infection. Um, we'll apply to a lot of patients that are going for big surgery, especially how endemic uh, COVID-19 is in the community now. Uh, so the study looked at uh, a population of uh, people on a database who had elective surgery in the United States, and it's major elective surgery, so not small, uh, between March 2020 and May 2021, and they contracted COVID-19 in what's called the period period, so sometime around the time of their operation. Uh, the time of the infection was deemed when they had a positive PCR swab. So they may have actually been infectious before that, but the time of their infection was day one from when the PCR was positive. The type of elective surgery they included were things like hip replacement, knee replacement, um, heart bypass, so coronary bypass graft surgery, lung resections, big gut surgeries, and then they looked at the um, background of the patients, so a number of other medical problems they had, their race, their age, those sort of things, and adjusted it with statistics um, so that those things didn't affect the uh, results. Um, and then they basically then grouped the patients into um, the time of surgery after infection. So if you had surgery within four weeks of an infection, you were put in one group. If you had surgery within four to eight weeks of uh, having an infection, you were put in another group. If you had surgery after eight weeks of having an infection, you were put in the third group. And then there was what's called a controlled group, so a group that didn't have um, uh, COVID-19 in, in around the operation time at all. Um, and what they did was is they then compared those groups to the group that hadn't had COVID-19. The control group or the group that didn't have uh, the infection almost made up almost half the uh, study participants. Um, so the rest of the study participants had had COVID-19 and had an operation within eight weeks, essentially. Um, when they compared the group that had had uh, an operation within four weeks of infection versus the group that hadn't had it, they had up to a six and almost six and a half times risk of having a post-operative pneumonia, uh, which is pretty impressive uh, and is a little bit worrisome. When they then compared the same group, um, compared to controls for another uh, complication known as respiratory failure, so problems with the lungs after surgery, there was almost a 3.3 times uh, the risk of uh, developing that problem. Um, and then as you can see, there's a bit, of a, a bit of a theme here. There are more complications associated with having a surgery within four weeks of a COVID infection. So almost 2.7 times the risk of something called a pulmonary embolus, which is a clot in the lung, which can be life-threatening in some cases. Uh, so quite serious. And then the last complication they found that was increased um, was a three and a half times risk of something called sepsis, or otherwise known as blood poisoning, which is basically an infection that enters the bloodstream uh, and can make you quite sick. Um, so all those things are quite important to know um, and are certainly worried when they then got out to the group that had had surgery about four to eight weeks after infection, the only complication they found where the risk was increased was the risk of a post-operative pneumonia, which is almost two and a half times. Um, but the other complications were back to a, a normal uh, level of risk compared to the control group. When you then got out to eight weeks since your COVID infection, um, they didn't find any increased risk of complications compared to the group that hadn't had COVID at all. Um, so what that suggests is you, you may well be safe having surgery or safer having surgery eight weeks after COVID than before that. Now, there are some shortcomings. We don't know if the, these patients had symptoms when they had surgery. We don't know what type of COVID-19 they had. It is a single study. So to really know if this is the truth, you'll need to see it repeated in other studies. And the other thing is we don't know what type of anesthetic they got. So there are types of anesthetic that are general anesthetic where you go to sleep and a tube's put down your throat. Um, there's another one called a spinal anesthetic um, where a, a needle's put into your back, um, but you're still technically awake. Uh, so those two things do certainly make a difference because um, they will change the way you things like your airways react and those sorts of things. Um, but the bottom line is that you may be an increased risk of a complication if you have surgery within eight, eight weeks of COVID-19. And so that's something you really need to discuss with your doctor. That's really the crux of all this. This isn't a hard and fast rule. And it is a single study. So we have to take a bit of a grain of salt. And this study will age if you watch this video in months to years. There will likely be different views on this and different information. So just please keep that in mind. Um, uh, if you like this video, please take a look at some of our other videos or subscribe to the Fortnite Orthopedic Surgeon. And thanks for listening.